Okay, so this is fundamental problem number three, 17, three. And as you can see, what we've got here is we've got this, uh, it's called a link, this piece, um, AB right here. Um, let me highlight that so you know exactly what I'm talking about here. That little green piece, I just made it green, AB uh, right there is what we're talking about. Now, I, I, this is another one of those situations where I have no idea what they're trying to represent, but it's it's basically just an exercise, okay? But uh, we've got this link, 20 pound link, um, moving uh, uh, and held in position, it's held up at A, it's being pulled by a string BC, um, which can support a maximum tension of 10 pounds, determine the maximum acceleration of the frame without breaking the string. So what are the corresponding components of reaction at pin A, okay? So there's a limit on what the string can do. So we, we've got some tension here, and that tension has a maximum of 10, okay? And then something's happening at A, okay? Obviously at A, it's gonna be holding it up like this. So maybe we should call that an AY like so. Okay. Uh, but then something else has to be happening too. Okay. So let's think about that for just a second. In other words, what I'm trying to get at is an AX. Okay. Now imagine that this is our piece here. Okay. If we pull at the bottom like this, what is this piece going to try to do? It's going to try to rotate, right? You can imagine it's going to kind of go like that, boom, okay? And um, so that means that A, the X component, has to be pulling this way to keep this thing vertically. Otherwise, it's going to tilt on us. So we can draw A, Y in here, uh, sorry, A, X in here this way. Okay, now we already know we're going to split this thing up into components. So I'm going to just go ahead right in here and say that we've got TX here and we're going to have TY there. That way, when we get ready to, uh, to deal with it, that, that part is already done. Okay, so now we've got our three equations there that we want to deal with. Um, the x acceleration the y acceleration and then the rotational acceleration so let's start with the x okay and we don't really know what's going to happen so we just kind of shoot forward into it not knowing we don't know but we'll just we'll set it up and hope something awesome happens okay and um it's a good life lesson in there all right so in terms of x what we've got we know we're going to have AX, and we know that we're going to have TX. Oops, it's supposed to be an X. My bad. Let's try. Let's try to do a little better job on that. TX. There we go. Has to be equal to MAX, just like this. Okay. All right. Now um, we can't take this a step further. We don't know anything about AX. So we can go ahead and write this in here like this. But we do know that T um, is on a, a 3, 4, 5 triangle, okay? Which means that Tx is 3 fifths, in this case, of T. So pause there, check that geometry out, convince yourself that uh, it's 3 fifths T. So that's going to be in... A X. Okay. Now we're actually A Y is going to be zero. So it's a little bit silly continuing to say A X. Um, let's move down to the vertical equation. So uh, vertically, we've got the weight of the bar, which is uh, M G and that's down. So we've got here, we're going to have minus, whoops, just kidding there. That didn't work out. So we're going to have minus mg and then plus ay. And then the string is pulling up also. So there's our ty component right there. And all that is equal to zero 
because it's not going to accelerate uh, vertically. Okay. Now let's pull the same trick with the ty as we did with the tx, which is to uh, go ahead and we know the sign value that should be on there. So we're going to have minus ag mg uh, ay plus this one's going to be four fifths t is equal to zero just like this okay so so far i've got a y is unknown a x is unknown i mean capital a x the acceleration is unknown okay uh so that's and t is a max okay so i've got three unknowns right now because what, what we're going to eventually do is substitute in for what um for t is going to be 10. okay actually we can go ahead and uh we can go ahead and make that substitution for the y can't we let me do that in a slightly different color here so we're going to say minus mg plus a y plus four fifths now if we plug in for our maximum the maximum is 10 pounds so we get 10 in there just like this okay um now the weight is 20 pounds okay so i've got minus 20 plus a y plus four fifths of that is eight equals zero so a y is just going to turn out to be take my 20 over subtract that is 12. okay all right so we got one Woo -woo. okay well, let's move over now here to uh the moment let's see what we got there um so a y and a x we, we actually know a y now but suppose we didn't uh if we put our pivot at a then that eliminates a y and a x from our equation because they're not going to contribute any moments since the pivot point is right there okay so uh what we've got then there's no moment from the weight there's no moment from t y so we actually don't have ty we don't have a weight we don't have ax we don't have ay all we have is tx and tx is down there a distance of seven from our pivot so we're going to say tx it's down there a distance of seven now according to where a is that's going to be a clockwise um sorry a counterclockwise so anyway it's positive and that has to be equal to mr plus or minus a so well, i'm going to go ahead and write mra here and the r value is um well i'm just gonna i just want to write r for a second okay a what we don't know is is it going to be plus or minus a okay so let's think about it this way Oops. okay the acceleration is as shown here okay it's to the right that's positive all right now tx is going to create a moment that's going to have to try to generate an alpha this way now is that alpha positive or negative that one's positive. Ah, nice. Okay. So that means the moment trying to be created by Tx is positive, and the acceleration given our coordinate system is positive. And so we can choose here the positive sign. Okay. Just like that. Okay. So let's keep rolling here. Now we, we got 7Tx. All right, is equal to M A R. Okay, uh, M is twenty over G. R, the, it, we got to go to the center of mass for the link. So the center of mass is going to be here. All right, three and a half, just like that. 
So we get three and a half times A. Okay. Now um, we could do one more thing here with this. We could say this is seven and TX is equal to three fifths times T. So that becomes 20 over G onto three fifths times A. Okay, now if we substitute everything in, yeah, if we substitute everything in, then um, we get the AX is, uh, AX is six. Okay, whoa, 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 sorry. <laughs> we get that A is, um, A turns out to be 0.6G, which is 19.32. Okay. We remember we're here, we're in English units because it says pounds and we got feet. So G is the 32.2 number. All right. We got that. So once we take that acceleration and we plug it up into our um, uh, our our original horizontal acceleration. I've got ax three fifths t, which is going to turn out to be ten. Okay, now check this out. I've got mass, which um, we said was twenty over g. And if we leave a as point six g then that's kind of cool the g's sort of cancel each other that way plug in 10 for t and ax and then turns out to be six like that okay okay um again by now you've seen this a hundred times okay we're just going to identify our forces we've been doing that for a long time now um and um now, though, we're putting into three versions of Newton's second law, uh, and we, uh, we roll with it from there. Okay? Follow where the algebra leads you.